Hello and welcome to episode 14 of the Milk Bar podcast, which is the bi-weekly Milkmen podcast where we focus on comedic commentary, pop culture from the week prior, and a load of other shit. Today, I am not joined by Simon and Stephen. because I'm not even going to give them an excuse. Mm. They're just cunts, and they're not here. Uh, Ellis, Christopher, Danny, myself, Oshan, and where the fuck is Angus Frank? Shit. <laughs> Someone stole. I'll go grab him. <laughs> How have you all been? I'll be back in a sec. Let's all stay deadly silent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy this. Shit. I can't find him. Isn't Angus Frank a woman? Oh, I found him. Mine's keep saying him. <laughs> Do you miss gendering nice. Angus Frank? It is, Angus Frank. Angus is just going through a period yeah. where any gender okay. is okay. See, that's, that's clearly a he. Look. What? That's a that's a woman. <laughs> yeah, if it's got orders, it's a she. It's you... called a joke, mate. Aren't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's called a fake fucking cow. There's not even right. Angus Frank is here. We. Um, how have you all been? <laughs> Solid. I wish I, wish, I wish I could say the same. I'm a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit on the runs today. Uh, me and Chris went for a chiquitos yesterday. What's that? A restaurant. Ch oh, okay. Mexican. I thought it was a type of food. Yeah, it's a Mexican. Oh. I went for. We were just saying. I went for like the most plain food: a burrito with mild like salsa hmm. and chips, like you know, like the tortilla chips and uh, sweet potato fries. Yeah, the that was a mistake. Much, Volcanic, eh? I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> More like, to be honest, it was quite fitting because after Chiquitos, we went and watched Oppenheimer. Mm. So we'll get to that later. Okay. But day after, it was like a nuke going off. So <laughs> kind of fits. Um, okay. So there's that. Glad you yeah. shared. We're that. literally five minutes in, and I've already talked about me <laughs> shitting all over. Okay, so Danny, how have you been? Yeah, I've been all right, mate. Thanks. Anyway. <laughs> you got any news? No. He does. He told me a bit of news on the drive up. I can't tell you that bit yet because the place that it is doesn't even know. Oh. But at the point of this coming out, they will know. I'll still be working there. Oh. <laughs> you can ah, fuck it. Tell him anyway. You don't have to don't say okay. You got a new job. Yeah, I got a new job. There you go. That's that job. Is so, um, just quickly, if you like listening to these podcasts, we actually have a Patreon. And starting from just £3 a month, you get a great deal from us. You get these podcasts earlier, bonus content like plans for podcast specials, which we have got, uh, merchandise discounts, signed postcards, your name in the videos we produce, and more. So if you want to continue, if you want us to continue making these podcasts for free, mind you, then it isn't possible without your guys' support. So please do check out the Patreon. Uh, it's getting kind of fucking embarrassing now. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, little as £3 a month, and you can support us and do this forever. And ever. And, and ever. ever. So there is that. Danny looks very happy about the fact that yeah. we're going to do this forever. Just so happy. How do I back <laughs> out of this now? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're in a contract. Yeah. I, I, haven't, even... I haven't signed anything. No, you did. About. You did. I put a pen in your hand when you were asleep and just... That's not how that works at all. It is. You you remember when you were... Uh, after that. <laughs> Do you remember when you all signed your signature in my notebook? Oh, uh, was that the, the blank Holy contract? Holy shit, he literally has all, our, yeah, he has all of our signatures. Oh, fuck. I better not go into a lot of like debt right now. You better not be signing on to a mortgage or nothing. <laughs> Too late for that. <laughs> just takes control of mine. Oh yeah, I've got a house. <laughs> oh yeah. We so, already knew this. Yeah. Old news. Gonna... Anyway, how are you doing, Chris? No, hang on. No, <laughs> <laughs> no I've moved into my house. You have. Which that you've all been mega. to. So. It's shit. It is. Moving on, how are you, Chris? Yeah, uh, my mate's got a new house. Yeah. Oh, Who? that's amazing. Who's your mate? You wouldn't know him. How was the house? Shit. What? <laughs> oh, you mean the... Right, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I that thought you meant his. I was like, yeah. he hasn't got a house. I mean, I live. I do live in a house. <laughs> no, you're homeless. <laughs> <laughs> you're fucking lost, mate. <laughs> you look homeless. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so no, there's just no need for that. Yeah. No. Calm down, Danny. <laughs> I've literally had one sip of Monster and I'm off my tits, mate. I haven't <laughs> eaten today, so... Nothing at all? I've had um, a bit of Chris's muffin. There you go. Yeah. So, anyway, story of the week. A segment where some of the Milkmen volunteered to tell a story of something that's happened to them recently or in the past. Then we, the Milkmen, will decide which is the best story of that week. So, Chris, you said you've got a story? Oh, Yes. <laughs> okay, do you want to fucking uh, tell it then? You want me to tell the story? All right. Okay. Um, 
I'm just trying to how I'm just trying to think how to word this so it's interesting. But basically, I'll do what Ashan does and give it a title. Oh. Just call it. I haven't thought of a title. Hang on. Uh, uh, that's uh, a title. Uh, two. Two. Dates. No, no, no. Wait. Hang on. Let me think of one because I know the exact story, don't I? Yeah. Yeah. Um. Exactly. Yeah. So, <laughs> no, just call no, it. Two, I can't think of a title. Let's go from there. Uh. Anyway, I'll two tell legends it. and two. Pigeons. Pigeons. What? Carry on with the yeah. story. Was, I prefer, I can't think of a title. Anyway. Okay. As a title? Yeah. All right. All right, so that's the story done. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, basically, pre, um, you know, obviously I'm in a relationship now. Mm. And before that, I uh, obviously went on a couple of dates and stuff. And then, All right. no, I don't want to flex. Don't want to flex. <laughs> I went on some dates. All, all right. Did calm you? down. Two. <laughs> said, all right anyway uh, sure what? might even tell the story <laughs> so basically uh obviously like match match classy way of meeting a match with somebody on i don't know whatever grinder <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah and then you get she was she was you know, she was nice enough like right but um i think i met her once before and then we arranged to meet again and then when we for the second time oshan also was like talking to somebody and you were going to meet somebody weren't you it let's like this, it was in liverpool though, it, wasn't yeah, it so it was yeah. like an hour away from where we live yeah exactly so this girl i was like you know talking to lives in liverpool and we were like oh i've seen on the so it was like halloween when i first seen her and seems she's you know, nice enough like and we like like so we arranged like a, hang on halloween is in on the day of halloween or just around halloween I feel like I no, it was bonfire night, wasn't no, no, it? No, I'm just saying. I the first time I met her, I think it was oh, Hall- like the night. Because I was going to say, if you met each other costumed up, <laughs> that would have been fucking jokes. <laughs> yeah. Well, you look completely different. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. All right. Okay. So I'm a little mid, mid, uh, mid story snack. snack. So yeah. So we arranged for a second date. Hmm. It's bonfire night, or like it was the night they were having. Sometimes they have bonfire, like do do the fireworks. Oh my on god! Night. Get on with it. Yeah. I get you. Okay. Do you know what? Why am I even telling this story now? So we we arranged for me and Oshan to both go up there. He was going to meet his person he was talking to. And then I was meeting with this girl again. So we get there. And I'm trying to even think what happened now. But basically. <laughs> okay. What is the point in this story? Yeah. I was just <laughs> My side of the story is funnier, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. But okay. I'm just going to try and say that the the... the <laughs> it's rubbish. The person. No, I'm thinking about it. It's such a rubbish story. I just story. tell my yeah. side of the story? No, 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 for you. I'll finish off. Yeah, yeah. I'll finish off. So basically, it wasn't a great date. All right. Okay. <laughs> Who would have thought? So basically, she she goes, "Oh, we're going to go out and get some food. Well, I'll show you around Liverpool because I hadn't really been out in Liverpool that much. Mm. And then it was only for like lunch. And then she goes, "Oh yeah, by the way, I'm going to bring a friend." I was like, "Hang on, this is a date. What are you doing? Bringing third wheel? Yeah, yeah, bringing someone or an opportunity." <laughs> Damn, I didn't see it like that at the time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you could uh, have as well. <laughs> anyway, this person, she she was actually a friend I knew from high school. Oh, okay. Anyway, that she, you know, her friend, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So as we're walking on level, I was basically just having a catch-up. And I'm on a date and I'm having a catch-up with her friend. Do you know what I mean? So it's just like, and I'm thinking back, maybe I was the problem. Actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it was just, I was like, it's a shit It would have been her fault for bringing her along if yeah, you knew exactly. each other. Yeah, so it's like, why, if you go and... Like, it just didn't make sense why you'd have someone with anyway. So, mm. and it was rubbish. It was just a rubbish date. And then as it got on, it took ages for us to have food. And then we went to this like Asian thing, mm. like restaurant place. And then um, I was like, oh, I don't really know what time. She goes, oh, she picked this. It's, it's nice. I've had it before, whatever. Picked it. And it was the most grim thing I have ever eaten. And then, uh, so I was just starving all day, <laughs> wandering around, go to look at fireworks. It just had a really like rubbish time. And as I'm walking around there, I was just like, oh, I prefer to have just been with Ash on here. Yeah. <laughs> Me and Ash on the other day. And it's like, we get, I went back to her. We just watched the film. And then I was just waiting for Ash on to, uh, to message me to tell her he's outside. Anyway, we'll cut to Ash on's side, side of the story. Of the story which, so yeah. obviously, me and Chris went up together in a car. Mm. He drove to this bird that he was meeting to her like flat or whatever. And then I walked into the city to meet the person that I was meeting. Anyway, I also had a fucking awful time. Because this person, I didn't, at first, I didn't actually know if it was her, right? Because we went to like, I think we went to a museum or some sort of gallery or some bullshit. It was years ago, so I don't really remember. But went around somewhere. And then I was like, what is that? 
So, oh, something smells a bit. Something smells a bit funny in it. So I was saying to her, like, hmm, can you smell? What is that smell? Mm, it smells a bit, a bit, a bit fucking her, mate. Honestly, she absolutely oh, no. stank, and it was disgusting. Oh, and it, it was, it wasn't like a bo. It was just like. I don't know, nuclear or something. It was so, a fucking awful smell. So like, like you twenty minutes ago. Basically, yeah. <laughs> it, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, it, but it was like a dead body. Oh my right? god! It was disgusting. Oh, Maybe she was a zombie. Yes. I don't know. Not here to judge. But <laughs> we also went to the fireworks. Whatever, did whatever, and then um, I was like waiting for Chris to message me to say he was ready, mm. and he was waiting for me to message him to say I was ready, and then I forgot where the house was. So then I was like trying to get data or whatever because my signal was shit and then my phone died. So then I was like, oh, well, now I've fucked it. So I was try I was literally walking around for about an hour and a half just trying to find where he was. And then I finally found his car, but then it was parked outside these houses and I wasn't sure which one it was. So then I was just outside like, I'm just going to have to start fucking knocking on these doors. And then eventually I actually found him and then we left. Both got in the car and just went, Fuck me, that was shit. <laughs> that was awful. So, there you go. Yeah, well, it's just like, what a waste of time. Was. Like, the thing is, she was she was nice enough. Mm. Just, it just wasn't like... Mine wasn't. She fucking yeah. stank. It was <laughs> unreal. Honestly, I wish you were there just to witness this stench. Yeah, <laughs> it was just the fact that... What made it funny was that we both just had like a really... And we were both thinking like, it would have just been better for us to have just so, go... Yeah, yeah, because you smell all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, right. Most of the time. I'm yeah. I mean, Liverpool is a nice place to visit anyway, but <laughs> if it's ruined by people that stink and just have no charisma, then... Yeah, literally. Uh -huh. There you go. It's just a shit day, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there we go. That was a little, little story. Anyway. I'm glad that you shared yeah. that. I well, feel I've, like... got, I've got a story as well. Oh, okay. So, like I said before, me, Chris, and uh, his brothers, and then my missus, and then his brother's missus, all went out to Chiquitos last night and watched uh, Oppenheimer afterwards. Now, for a bit of reference, um, Jerry, who's Chris's brother, his missus, called Amy, mm. uh, recently broke her leg because she was running and then she fell over a twig or something and she <laughs> fucked it. So she is in a wheelchair, right? Mm -hmm. Now, <laughs> that in itself, funny. Oh, I didn't right? know she was in a wheelchair. I heard about the leg. But yeah, no, she's actually, she was actually in, fucked yeah. it. Like, oh, she damn. is in a wheelchair. It, she can't do anything. Like, if she stands on it, she'll snap her leg yeah, off, she won't she? can't put any, like, weight on it. Or Shit Proper it. fucked yeah. it, yeah. So then, anyway, we're ordering from Chiquitos, and then the waitress is um, <laughs> asking us all what we want, mm. and then she gets all of our orders, and then the waitress just goes, oh, by the way, any allergies? And then I just point at Amy and go, run in. <laughs> <laughs> but then I thought, hang on a minute, this waitress doesn't understand the yeah, the dynamic. She does, yeah, she just yeah. thinks I've just pointed at a disabled person and gone yeah. running. Yeah, allergic to it. Fucking. We'd all been like absolutely roasting, roasting her, her but then obviously yeah. this person's just seen me look at a person in a wheelchair and say you're allergic to running. Like, how tight is that? Yeah, nah, that's fucking she hysterical. Know she's got broken like a leg or whatever. She's yeah, just been like paralyzed or whatever. Yeah, literally. <laughs> <laughs> she got run full. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's my story. Yeah. Just a little bit. It was, bit of fun. It was, so it was funny, yeah. honestly. Yeah, I can tie that. <laughs> I'm surprised he, he still puts up with it. To be honest, who? Jerry. What's he gonna do? Um, that's not funny. visit. Yeah. Not visit what? Sound. Your house. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want him there. Man stinks. <laughs> Possibly just as much as that girl did. Holy Maybe shit! Maybe it was. Mate, going back Ooh. to it, I just honestly, it's giving me PTSD. <laughs> You know, some people might so, like that, like Amy. Good point. Oh. I don't think of that. Some That's people scary. like sitting in a fart cloud. Well, she can't yeah. run, can she? <laughs> <laughs> so that's my story. Um, Doesn't have a yeah. choice. <laughs> she's got to fucking sit down, mate. If she stands up, she's going to break her leg again. Uh, I don't have anything interesting. Ah, uh, well. Oh, that's nice. unfortunate. Uh, I've got a really short one. Uh, it... Bet you have. <laughs> Whee! Oh, Dan. Oh, hey, no. Cox. Yeah. yeah. Carry on. <laughs> um, so you were mentioning dates, and it reminded me of one I had fucking ages ago. And my uh, my Apple Watch it monitors my heart rate. And to preface, this date was the first one in well over maybe a decade. I've been out of the game for that long because I had no interest at that point. Hang on a minute. Mm. 
So a decade ago, you had a date? Like maybe 14, yeah. Oh, right, yeah. Oh, shit, you're well old, aren't you? Sorry, <laughs> carry on. I thought you had been like four. I was like, <laughs> Still had the mustache then. Um, <laughs> Came out the way. Um, <laughs> it was a junk of the climb through. Hang on a minute. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Let's just not... backtrack here for a second. <laughs> I'm glad I started this story now. Um, yeah, let's just... I hadn't been for a date for a fucking long time and we met in a little city called Bangor that you know and I'd not really <laughs> well done real mature no 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 I'll, I'll uh, get to it in a minute story. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's another yeah, story okay. and I hadn't spent that, this much time in that city before so she was kind of showing me around and she said let's go to this cafe that I really like and it's kind of like hippie vegan etc cetera, etc cetera. I was like sure I'm just kind of chilling at this point. And then when it came to sitting down and having a conversation, for some reason, something clicked in my head like, you're under pressure now, make an impression. And my whole personality, my whole system went into fucking overdrive. And I don't, everything was a bit of a blur. I don't remember what I said, what happened, et cetera, et cetera. But I do remember having a little like vibration from my watch saying, you have been over 120 heart beats per minute for a consecutive 10 minutes you might want to call 999 <laughs> <laughs> and, and at, from that point I'm like yeah this isn't working and that's the end of the date I went into cardiac arrest on the day. nearly <laughs> imagine you just I mean, died on spot 120 isn't bad but for 10 minutes just sitting down it's a bit yeah. fucking nerve wracking are you sure you just didn't have like a thousand milligrams of caffeine or something I did have a coffee but that didn't you know I wouldn't have done it. Right. So you're just violently afraid of women. <laughs> and men. To be fair, being... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> At 14. No, this wasn't when 14. I was 14. What? This wasn't when he oh, was, was 14. This recently? Not recent. A few years ago, probably. A few years ago, probably, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no About four, fucking 14, like, having coffee. Yeah. That would have done it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally. That's what I was thinking. I was like, oh, I was like, oh he's got a date at 14. Like, you know, well, anyway. Yeah. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> Go, going back to Banger, the yeah, reason I please. started laughing. Yeah. So when me and Chris were in high school, in our science class for physics, um, we had a teacher called Mr. Atkin. Shout out to yeah, him. Yeah, shout out to Mr. Fucking Atkin. Fucking legend. <laughs> isn't he? Yeah, what a lad. Problem is though, me and Chris got on with him like proper well. He was just funny. Yeah. He was just a nice guy. Mm. And uh, he taught really well. And he actually, this is an even bigger shout out. I actually enjoyed physics mm. because of him. Yeah. And then- and he was a little bit mental. He was a bit mental. Which helped. Cause, but it was funny. And yeah. it was like, good. it made me enjoy the class. Yeah. Mm. And then uh, in the GCSEs, I got an A star in physics. Hey. Like an F, an E or whatever the fuck in everything else. Mm. So that proves that I really, really enjoyed. I like proper went in. Anyway, the class that we were with were all absolute cunts. And I'll say that to the face as well because I fucking hate half of them. <laughs> but they were all horrible to him. Like proper, mm. like... Just little cunts in a classroom, do you know what I mean? Just a punching bag. Yeah, they were just mm. awful to him. Yeah. Like they made him like really upset at times. Yeah. So he didn't he didn't really get a lot of, you know Riz. Sorry, <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> no, trust me, he had the Riz. Yeah. Oh, okay. And this story will explain why. <laughs> yeah. So basically, uh me and Chris sit down and then we you know we're talking to him and we're like, Oh, you know, because I think it was a Monday or something, and we're like, What would you get up to over the weekend? And he went, Oh well I took my daughter down to Bangor. I was like, me and Chris just went, hang on, you, you're going to have to slow down here. You've done what? <laughs> and that's it. That's the whole story. Yeah. The joke so anytime we hear banger, we go, Mr. The... Mr. Atkins took her took... daughter down to banger. What the yeah. fuck's wrong with you? Mm. Did he see it? Like, did he get it? I think did he, he clock? I think he's, at first, I think he was like, huh? And then yeah. he just started going, oh. <laughs> yeah. But he didn't really. And he was like, yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Straight face. Yes. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah, everyone with me. There was some kind of funny moments, though, with him where, do you remember when the, we kept turning off the projector? Oh, my there? God. Yeah, shout Someone... out to Raoul as well, because he will be watching this. <laughs> mm. So, you know, on a projector screen, mm. uh, obviously the projector up above you, you have a remote for it. Well, our friend Raul, who watches these, so cheers, mate. This is a fucking class story. So he downloaded on his phone an app to connect to projector screens, oh, right? Oh, okay, yeah. And then he was underneath it, like 
sat underneath it. So he was looking up, getting the fucking code number and everything like that, putting it on his phone. And then he connected to it and then started just streaming random shit on the projector oh my and turning it off and on and everything what the whole time. Mr. Atkins was like, what, the fuck, what is going on? And oh, it was just Raoul dicking about. I like Raoul <laughs> even more now. Yeah. I thought that was impossible. I know. I love Raoul. I miss him. Literally, no one's going to understand this. No. Apart from Raoul, because... Yeah. No, actually, everyone will understand this. We all know a Raoul. We all, we've everyone all got knows a Raoul, a Raoul in our yeah. friendship group. Yeah. yeah. Just an absolute G. <laughs> and a legend. <laughs> Starts you know I mean? with an R, mate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what a lad. He is a lad. Love you, Raoul. Yeah. Love you, Raoul. We'll have to go see him soon. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Or well, he mate. can come. Do you know what? Fuck that. He can come <laughs> yeah. up here, mate. We've actually, we he did come up here last time. So we no, wait. T- no, because we went to London. Yeah, and then and he then came, then he came up. Oh yeah, he did. Yeah, so we've oh, got to go oh, down yes. that way. Yeah. Fuck's sake. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> just moving on. Yeah, just don't. You definitely not got a story to tell. No. You are. My Shit life ass. is Absolutely. boring. Yeah. We were like, going on like a roll of stories then. I know. Yeah. yeah. A rowl of stories, some hey, might say. Shut up. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, if you want to become a Milkman founder, check out milkman.shop with limited edition hoodies, t shirts, caps, and more. Milkman Original will keep you cuddly, warm, and cozy. With free shipping on orders over £69 across the United Kingdom, purchase any product and you'll be labeled as a Milkman founder. So make sure to check out the merch at milkman.shop. And again, check out the Patreon for discounts because they are there. So. Weekly news. Mm. Has anyone got any? Weekly news. Weekly news. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> All my news is revolving around helping you out, so that's it. Yeah, well, that's the first thing I've actually got on weekly news recap, which is in world news. I've moved into a new house. It was quite a smooth transition, really, wasn't it? I wouldn't say that. I haven't seen it on the news. I'd, like, compared to a lot of other moves I've been through or helped with, yeah, I'd it, say. It went okay. <laughs> that's a fair <laughs> statement. I mean, we nearly set the house on fire. Yeah, but that was funny. Made for a story. It did. Here's another for story. A story. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, yeah, we nearly set the house on fire. So there's that. Not intentionally. Let's put it out there. Mm. You don't want, don't want to make it sound like you're like insurance fraud claimers. Oh shit! Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I don't think they'll be watching this, will they? <laughs> <laughs> all the insurance claim people. Yeah. Uh, we get hundreds of thousands of views. Now it's all insurance brokers like, what the fuck are they saying here? Um, no, yeah. So basically, I had a fridge that was in a container, like a storage unit, for nearly a year. Mm. And then we transported it over uh, to the new house. And then we left it to settle for however long, because you're supposed to. And then turned it on. And then it just started sparking at the back and nearly set on fire. So that was good. Then the next day, I had a very expensive trip to Curry's to buy a new fridge. <laughs> Which, by the way, I am so fucking happy about. My new fridge, mate, is mint. It's way too big. It is way too <laughs> big. We did a weekly shop, and then my girlfriend was like, oh, I filled the fridge. And I was like, no, you fucking haven't. I walked in, and she filled not even one shelf. <laughs> there was actually like a few bits in the shelves. And I was like, do you think we've got a big enough fridge? I can't wait for the day when I'm going to reenact Simon's birthday present where I just buy 20. No, no, you're not. You're I'm not doing that. And it's all going to fit in because there's enough space for it this you're gonna time. You're going to buy more. Oh, <laughs> fuck yeah, brother. Honestly, though, this is proper sad, but I am dead excited about this fridge. Right? <laughs> because I've always wanted an American plumbed in fridge where you just put the water, you know, it's filled with mm. water straight away. Mm. Like that. So I plumbed it all in. The water was working. And I was like, oh, this is so sick. I was already <laughs> happy, bear in mind. Then later on, when I'm watching a film in the lounge, I heard a massive bang. I was like, what the fuck was that? So then I walked into the kitchen. I was like, what has just, like, what has just blown up? What is going on? I, was, I didn't know what was going on. And then uh, it happened again. It was coming from the fridge. And I was like, oh, fucking hell. Here we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Just bought a new fridge and it's fucked already. Opened it and it's making ice. It permanently is on a rotation thing that makes ice for me. Did I, you not know? Mate, no. I had no idea. I thought it was just a water dispenser, but it makes ice for me constantly. It's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know that's really sad. No, it's not sad. It's just the fact that you didn't know prior is just kind of the sad bit. I knew it had an ice dispenser, but I thought you just had to put your own ice in. What the fuck? What? Wait, that what doesn't is, make what any sense. Then? 
Well, no, because there's like a bit where it crushes the ice. So I just thought, oh, it was like a bucket and then you put the <laughs> oh, <no>. ice in. <laughs> but no, and hear me out. Hear me oh, out. Mate. The one that isn't plumbed, because mine's obviously a plumbed in one. Yeah. There's an exact copy of the same fridge that isn't plumbed in mm. that you do have to put your own ice in. What? So I thought it was just the That's same. That's so counterintuitive. Yeah, but it's not plumbed in with the other one, so you have to put your own water in as well. So, <laughs> but I just couldn't be asked with the fucking hassle. No, no, doing absolutely. That. But yeah. Is there like buttons that you press for like certain... Yeah, you can have crushed mm. ice, you can have no ice, you can have ice. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. Pretty much it. <laughs> you can have water. There's no man's booming out when he's so excited, excited about, about water. I know I am. Honestly, I've been buzzing about it all week. No, um, I'm looking forward to tar- trying it out when I'm there next. It honestly, I can't. I just can't express how cool it is. Because it's ice. <laughs> what? Can we all collectively agree to beat the <laughs> shit out of him later? Yeah, sure thing. Um, the reason I say it's too big is because currently, from what I remember of you saying a photo, it's covering oh, yeah. the door. So our kitchen at the moment, we're refitting everything. So yeah. we're refitting the whole kitchen, all the bathroom, basically just ripping out the whole house and redoing it. But the kitchen at the moment is quite small. Uh, and then we're going to have it so that the lounge currently becomes the dining room and then we convert in the garage into the lounge. So we'll have a massive kitchen. So that's why we've got a big fridge. But at the moment, we've got a small kitchen, which means I have to fit this massive fridge in front of the back door. So I don't actually have the kitchen door, but luckily enough, there's another door to get outside because for some reason the people thought three doors to the back garden wasn't enough. Like, <laughs> Well, to be fair, the garden is pretty segmented in like little patches of grass and pavement and um, yeah, the, fencing. There used to be a massive... There was, it's, uh, the, it was just so God, convoluted. Yeah, just the, the people that were there previously, just I don't think could make their mind up on what they no, wanted. They just the want to recreate Pan's labyrinth. Yeah, because every, every little part of the house had a different like theme or style and it was just all over the place. So I was yeah. just like, fuck that. We're getting rid of all of it and we're redoing everything. Mm. So we've done my girlfriend's office, which is decorated, but the carpet's going in tomorrow mm-hmm. and the main bedroom pretty much ready. And then I've spoken to a couple of builders, um, which, by the way, the first one came round immediately in my face was B.O. So I was like, hmm. Blast from the past. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> so I was like, mm, well, okay, get the Febreze out. Um, and I, I just started speaking. Do you know when you speak to someone, you just don't get a good vibe? Mm. Like you just don't click with someone. Yeah, yeah. A bit like how I met you guys. I just didn't really yeah. click at first. Um, so oh, I was like, likewise. Was just, what? Likewise. It, well, anyway. So yeah, <laughs> that was that was the vibe that I had from him. And then he just seemed a bit sort of like negative about everything. Like I was saying, oh, I want to do this, I want to do that. He was like, well... Yeah, it's costly. Yeah, it's just like moany the whole time. I was just thinking, oh, get out of my fucking house, right? <laughs> and then I met some other ones today who seemed really good. They were like really positive, really helpful, uh, answered all my questions properly. They were like explaining how they do it and what they do and suggesting things to me, which was really helpful, uh, things that I hadn't thought of. So it was like I got a really good vibe from these guys, so I'll probably go with them. Nice. But yeah. That's it. That's my story. You want your bill to have a bit of banter, really, don't you? Yeah, and he was just he was just nice, a nice guy. It was his uh this guy and his son, and I think the guy is gonna end up retiring soon. So he's sort of like helping his son along and whatever. That's so the, cute. It's the son's business, but the guy, the dad is like mm. the main builder sort of thing at the moment, but he's oh. retiring. But yeah, they just seem like nice people. So have you um sorted your office yet? No. It's gonna let, still full of shit. You're gonna let Danny do it. No, because, and I've got a bone to pick with you, by the way. Oh, <laughs> your bed. Well, no, bed. well, then, yeah, my bed, which you uh, fucked. Yeah, I can fix that, though. I just, you don't, oh, is it you still don't, not you, fixed? You have, like, a single toolbox of, like, screwdrivers. Sorry, what do you have? A fucking three sheds full of tools. Ooh. They're your dad's, mate. Sorry, I don't uh, have a dad. Do you uh, know what I mean? Actually, he's given them to me, so. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that, you said it was when he dies. Is he dead? He doesn't use them. He's like, <laughs> oh. them. Oh. Really? Yeah. Can I have one? No. Yeah. All right. <laughs> to be fair, I have actually bought some new tools since I saw Oh, for you. fuck's sake. So I know. It's yeah. a problem. <laughs> you, you don't have the stop. space for them. Huh? You don't have the space for them, lad. I bought a shed as well, so I'll have enough space then. <laughs> You've bought a... <laughs> <laughs> I bought a shed. What, what tools and have you bought? Um, to date, mm. 
Uh, well, the the latest thing I bought was a uh, hand, you know, like a, a hand drip. grenade. <laughs> <laughs> hand grenade, yeah. No, a, a saw, like a mm. electrical saw. DeWalt, obviously, because uh, <laughs> branded stuff is always best. <laughs> but, uh, and twice as expensive. So mm. there yeah, is we that. should get like a picture of your DeWalt uniform, basically. With everything, yeah. I am kitted out, though. I've got everything you'd ever need. All right. I don't, about... I don't know why you bought the pants. Mate, they've been well helpful. So are joggers. <laughs> no, because I don't have any joggers, first of all. And <laughs> They're cheaper to buy than <laughs> default pants. No, they were well cheap. They were like 30 quid. You go and get some joggers for 10. We'll go and get some joggers then. They've only got two pockets. I've got like seven, mate. Ooh. Yeah, and they wow. hold tools and it's got DeWalt on the side. <laughs> so. And this is a funny story. I walked into B&Q and then uh, I was doing plumbing for the kitchen and then uh, I was asking this guy, like, listen, I I don't really know what I'm getting here, so you're going to have to explain things to me. He went, and then he said something like, um, uh, he went, oh, are you in the trade? And then my girlfriend just started laughing. And then she went, no, he's got all the gear, but no idea. And I was like, yeah, yeah. And then he went, well, you've got some idea. And I was like, oh, oh, mate, you've, bro- you've like literally saved me it. And then I started beating the shit out of Rose yeah. in front of him because <laughs> – don't back chat me. Yeah. <laughs> fucking Jeez. Using like a fucking plumbing pipe on her. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, that's it. That's all. That's my house. Uh, so when are you gonna? When are you guys gonna grow up and get a house? I'm not. When I feel like it, get off my back, you know. Chris, when I, I've got to solve the housing crisis first, you know what I mean? How are you gonna solve yeah. it? Just... Get a handgun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Go Start to Wall shooting. Street. Yeah. Just go straight to Sunak. What? <laughs> that. What? <laughs> I don't think it's Rishi Sunak's problem. He'll sort him. He'll sort him. Yeah, he's sorted loads yeah. so far. Like, um... <coughs> yeah, and then the. Uh... Uh, oh, what about the? Uh... And then jump when he solved that. Yeah. Or well, what about when he did the um, the thing for those? <laughs> mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Fucking retard. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Jesus. <laughs> Let's not get political. <laughs> In other news, unless anyone's got any. No. Great. Uh, so people are saying Elon Musk's new logo for Twitter looks like an adult film website. Has everyone seen it? Mm. Oh, it's the X. I got X. really Stop confused. Yeah. I yeah. went on Twitter and I saw the change and I didn't I didn't expect it. So I didn't I, was I don't think anyone loop. expected it. To be was fair. it not like prior announced? No, he just went, Yeah, we're changing it. Oh. <laughs> and then, oh, I found this out the other day as well. So, that, you know, you can have an, a handle, like an app. Yeah. So there was a guy that had at x.com. And so oh, yeah. just went, we're having that. Oh, sorry, x.com. Just went, yep, that's ours now. And just took it off him and then made his like x123456789910 or whatever. So he's just fucked it because that would have been worth loads. Unless they bought it off him, I don't know. Maybe. But still also, why X? Is it because SpaceX and... Ooh. Oh. I don't I, know, maybe just either like... way, I don't like it. Hmm. Why? What you thinking? X, X dot com, and then he just needs another one to get X X X. Yeah. That that's probably what he's trying to do. Mm. What's his son called? This child. Isn't oh yeah, it's got a goofy, goofy yeah. name. Xylophone or something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? That's really is it X A E? I think it was at one point, and then they changed it because they knew how fucking awful stupid it was. It was yeah. Because I think he did an interview where one of the reporters said "how's" and actually pronounced it, and then he laughed. It's like, <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> so probably changed it. Damn. But um, why why change it? That's well, he confirmed over the week. So Musk confirmed over the weekend that it was time for the social media giant to say goodbye to its iconic blue bird logo and switch to an X symbol. And then someone tweeted, is it just me or do the new name and logo X look slash sound like a gay sex club or porn studio or something? Hashtag rip Twitter. I uh, saw a tweet that I really quite liked that somebody pointed out that if you ever post a video onto that website, it's going to be an X video. (laughs) (laughs) That's a deep cut. Milkman X videos coming to you soon. (laughs) (laughs) So what would you rename Twitter if you had the chance? Twatter. Twatter, <laughs> straight off the bat. Nice. Um, okay, okay, that's probably on the spot a little bit. Yeah, I'll just um, answer it now. <laughs> okay, what about uh, awesome Mc- 
cool. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just never having a business that grows. Hang on a minute. You're part of this one. What? Shit. We're fucked. <laughs> We're fucked. Imagine he came up with a name for us. Awesomedudes.com. <laughs> like, right. What about you, Dan? I wouldn't. I'd get rid of it. Yeah. You just delete I, the website. I thought yeah, you were going to go yeah. for something really it's dangerous. Fucking awful. Yeah. It is. Most websites are these days. Plus I YouTube. I don't know what I would rename it. I hate the internet. Just let other people just... Do you know what? That's actually a good name. Because it incites people to actually... Mm. Say put, stuff that's yeah. fucked. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Isn't that just 4chan? Yeah. <laughs> that, that like 5chan, mate. I mean... So, um, other than what Elon has been doing, mm. what other ways can you think of to lose $44 billion? <laughs> Spend it. Good, <laughs> good answer, Alice. Cheers, Dan. He, he is right. He, he got me right. there. Just spend it all on DeVault. In what? DeVault. Oh, DeVault. Yeah. Uh, DeWalt. Say it properly. <laughs> no, it, I'm saying it my way. DeVault. <laughs> I'd want to buy DeVault. It's like okay. Volkswagen. <laughs> okay. That's Volkswagen. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Fucking oh, German yeah, over here. Yeah. Da. It's a bit sus. <laughs> yeah. That is a bit sussy what, back of that. What's your favourite German period, though? <laughs> uh, 1943, <laughs> <laughs> when it all ended. It didn't. That was like right in the middle. We don't yeah, know about. Literally right in the middle of the World War II. Yeah. 1945. Fucking hell. <laughs> yeah, no, that's we're, why... We're I'll figuring things out for this I'll, man over here. I'll stick with it. <laughs> My favourite period there. of Germany was 1943. Ellis, 2023. What's the question? What would you do with 44 billion to lose it? I can't even, like... 44 billion, I can't even, like... What? Numbers. Yeah, it's like, 44,000 million. How to lose it? What um, would you do with it? Burn it. Absolutely, that'd lose it pretty quick. Put it all in GameStop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it, yeah. Mm. Uh, what else could you do? Forty-four bit. I mean, what can you buy for forty-four billion? Oh, meteorites. Things. A country. A nuke. Mm, probably not a country. No, because well, I don't know actually. I don't know how much they are, but in Oppenheimer, it said that America spent two billion. Make, yeah, making it. it, making it. Mm. Yeah, so developing it and everything. But I mean, qu quick math: how many? Nukes I don't know how you... to make a nuke, so we'd have to develop it, wouldn't we? But, yeah. No, just get That's somebody only... else to do it. Oh no, you're left with forty-two billion. <laughs> <laughs> well, no inflation <laughs> yeah. and everything, so you know. I oh, know you're left with forty. It'll probably be cheaper to make it now. To be fair, forty-four billion. It's just like you, unfathomable amount of money, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Invest it in the milkman. That would definitely help us lose 44 You would literally need 0.001% of that to get to where we want to. Nah. <laughs> Not with our plans I've got, mate. Oh, God. Sex dungeon. That's all I thought of when I looked at you then. No. What? <laughs> yeah. just, an, just an hour-long video of us like getting the most expensive plane each, right? And crashing it. Flying it oh, no. ourselves. Right. Where's this going? N no, not <laughs> not a reproduction of one of the worst things no. in history. No. Nine no. eleven times six. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. I wasn't no. Thinking that? Do you know what I mean? What? Maybe I wasn't thinking that. You definitely were. <laughs> no, I was going to say get the most expensive planes each, fly them into the air, jump out with a parachute that's made of gold, so it wouldn't even work, and then blow up the planes. <laughs> Wow, so just kill us. And then that's about... That's the most expensive <laughs> suicide I've <laughs> ever heard of. I'm pretty sure the most expensive plane costs about 49 million. So we've got like 43 billion left. Yeah, well, <laughs> so good. we've still got a lot of money to waste. Shit. <laughs> we'll buy a couple each. Tell you what, we'll just buy Twitter and then call it x.com. Let's just do that. <laughs> yeah. Good plan. Yeah. Do you think it's a good uh, decision that he's made, though, changing the name? And Fuck no, I really like the name Twitter. I don't like the website, but I thought the concept of the like whole send a tweet. Mm. I just think that's smart. So he's just got yeah. rid of that. What's he going to fucking call it? A tweet? I know, yeah, I was just thinking that. Like, oh, yeah, I'm going to tweet something. Oh, I'm going to X something. Like, it doesn't make any sense. <sighs> Nonsense. Because isn't there that new uh, one called Threads or something? Mm. Threads? Yeah. By Threads. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg. Oh, yeah. What? It's 
a B tech to her, basically. Yeah. Really? They yeah. wanted to get all the audience leaving Twitter yeah. onto this new platform that they've They're probably gonna. Yeah, they have, basically. Mm -hmm. But it's so bare bones and like they're just figuring out as it comes because they just wanted to jump at the opportunity. Mm. Shit. Yeah. Have you heard about the fight that they're trying to plan? <laughs> yeah. Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg. In, in the Colosseum in Rome. What? That's where they're planning on doing it. What, it's actually going ahead? Well, that's what they're planning, yeah. Mate, Elon is going to get absolutely destroyed. Have you seen so? Yeah. Mate, he does, he does martial arts, doesn't he? Yeah. Mm. yeah. What is he now? Like, yellow belt? Brown belt? Something like fucking I mental. Yeah. Orange belt? He's one of the belts. I don't follow He's, He's at least one He owns a belt. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> There's an episode of Friends like that, isn't there? With uh, fucking... Ross. Like, no, uh, Monica? She's dating like a multi-millionaire. Oh. And he goes into boxing. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. gets fucking wailed at. Yeah. Yeah, because Elon... I'm, look. I'm sure he's a nice lad, but he's not built for it, is he? Yeah, you know I know. I mean? You don't know what he's packing yeah. underneath that. He's built like what? Well, we do. There's photos of him. Oh, is there? Around. Yeah. I haven't seen them. Yeah, he's, on a he's, boat. He's quite on a, Can you what? He's quite large. As he's Simon quite might say, more, he's girthy. More room to <laughs> climb, then. Huh? What? Okay. What were you going to say, uh, Chris? He's, like, he's got kind of like lizard qualities, hasn't he? <laughs> lizard qualities? Yeah. But then so is Mark Zuckerberg. So no, he's got alien like mm. Mm. aliens versus lizards. What's that thing? <laughs> Shut up. What's that thing where it's like uncanny valley? Is that what it is? Have you heard of that? Oh, I think so. It's like a, a person that looks like a person that doesn't look like a person. So you get like freaked out by yeah. it. Yeah, mm. like what, like Mark Zuckerberg and fucking what's his name from the Social Network. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but isn't it like the faces like are slightly different and it like just doesn't sit right with you. Yeah, it sort of freaks you yeah. out a bit. I get that from Mark. Mm. Just his eyes. I feel like he's staring into my soul. It kind of looks, looks like, like Oppenheimer, eyes. really. Hmm? kind of looks like Oppenheimer. Who? Mark. Zuck. Yeah. Maybe it is. Reincarnation. Yeah. Wow. Who, who the Zuck thought... bomb. Okay. That sounds like a do deuce. Are you dropping the, <laughs> the <soul>? Zuck bomb? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In other news, there's a rumor floating around Hollywood that Sam, I'm struggling on the name, Rami? Sam Raimi. Raimi. Mm. And Tobey Maguire might finally be making Spider-Man 4 together. Yeah, I heard this this morning. Uh, quite brand new news, this one. Yeah, so Thomas Hayden Church, who appeared in as Flint Marco, the Sandman, yeah. uh, in Raimi's, is that right? Yep. Raimi's uh, Spider-Man 3. Uh, told comicbook.com that if he could appear in any other Spider-Man movie, he would want it to be Raimi's Spider-Man 4. And he said, there's always been some kind of, I've heard rumors that Sam Raimi was going to do another Spider-Man with Toby. And mm. if that happens, he'd you know, really like to do it. And then essentially, um, Sam has then said, I don't know if Marvel would, be, Marvel would be interested in that right now. I don't know what the thoughts are about it, but he's up for it. I'm up so, for it. We may see Toby in spandex again. Oh, that's amazing. Um, I know there were plans for the fourth Spider-Man, like straight after number three, where they would have Mysterio in it, and it was oh, really? played by uh, the guy who, oh, what's his name? He uh, he's the Evil Dead main character, like the hero in it. Evil Dead. Evil oh, Dead. Yeah. No, yeah. I don't know that either. That's oh, fair play. Um, but this character, he ha he was in every single Spider Man before it, like as like a side character, like someone you see for twenty seconds, mm. and it was building up to him kind of like following Peter. Oh, yeah. It was supposed to. It was like first used as like a a safe cameo of this guy who had worked with Sam Raimi before because he did the Evil Dead oh, film right, beforehand. Okay. So they were building up to having that film, and then Spider Man Three came out, and then fucking flopped so did it yeah well i'm not sure if it did uh commercially but critically it fucking tanked i loved spider-man 3 with toby and well, james are, franco and everything you're a rare case then a lot <laughs> of people don't like it mate i loved it mate franco in that oh his character is sick <laughs> yeah, but then he the... has like amnesia for like half of it yeah, yeah but the gadgets he sat in, in a shape. bed mate mm. <laughs> well good i loved that film <laughs> was it when did you watch last watch it when I was a kid. Yeah. Okay. So we need to do a rewatch then. Your opinion probably changed quite no. a lot. Because I think we said that about one of the other ones or whatever. 
Oh, uh, Tokyo Drift. I was saying so, about oh, that. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah, it was like, you look back and you're like, oh, this is actually kind of wank. Mm. I know everybody, when Far No no Way Home came out, everyone wanted, um, to uh, not Toby, Andrew Garfield. Andrew Garfield to make another one. That mm. was like the high demand. Mm. And everyone was like, yeah, sure, we'll go for it. But I haven't had the green light yet, so we'll see what happens. Mm. Maybe we'll get two Spider-Man films from different universes in the same year. That'll be wild. That'll be mad, won't it? Yeah. Um, anyway, if you haven't already, make sure to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok with the handle at WatchMilkMen for behind the scenes and extra content. And also because we need more followers, it's getting kind of fucking embarrassing. Um, so once again, at WatchMilkMen on all socials. You know, Move it. You're going to have to change that. Why? It's not Twitter anymore. Oh, literally just had this conversation. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> so follow us on X. <laughs> at WatchMilkMen. Would it even? Are they going to keep the app thing? Fuck it. We're off Twitter now. <laughs> Just decided we're on threads. Yeah. Find us on threads. Can't be asked. Uh, so, Curdle Conversation, which is a conversation between the four of us, because Simon and Stephen, like I said at the beginning, are cunts, um, where we delve into the hypotheticals of the world's most notorious and despicable questions that we now encourage you, the audience, to send us. So, if you've got a question that you want us to answer, send it in, comment below. So, Hypothetical question for today. If you could time travel, would you go forward or back in time? I would go back to 1940 no, 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 no. so I can get the full <laughs> length of it. Go back to 1943 to meet my favorite. <laughs> Is that, are we stuck there or do we get to travel back? No, you can come back, but you can't then go further back. It's, you, go, you can either go forward and come back or you can go back and come back forward <laughs> you know what i mean you can go back in time and then come back to your present time or you can go from forward your present time back. to forward and then back to your present time i'd go forward yeah i think i would as well because mm. then mate you could make mega money mm. go forward a week mm. check out ev like a week's worth of bets and then go back place them all and just keep making money why only a week go two months and then make even more yeah, go a year. Yeah, but that's two months of work but then, isn't it? Can't you argue that you could do the same if you went back? What? You put the bets in. Oh, yeah, because you already know what happened. Yeah. But no, I think well, you have no, to because... stay there and live it then, wouldn't you? Yeah, because yeah, you can't. No, because bet. no, if you put it into an account, mm, I guess. That's no, you, you can witness things. You can't, like. Yeah, I can't change. Because oh. you oh, don't okay. exist in the past, do oh, you? Yeah, fair. Okay. And then yeah. it also, it's like if you went so far in the future, you, you'd be dead. So <laughs> yeah. there's no point. But you can go and witness it. So mm. Plus, I think you already know what happens in the past. I mean, I want to yeah, see I know. It's so like, mate, uh, history not, class. Not really. Me. <laughs> it's like you don't exactly know what happened when JFK got assassinated. I would like to know. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I know the exact specifics. <laughs> I know who was there. I know who did it. How it was done. Yeah. But the, this was 1960 <laughs> odd, not 1940. Yeah, I know. I'm the right era, honestly. Take on. How old are you? <laughs> old enough. No, do you know what? Actually, going back in time to see how the pyramids were built and shit like that, because mm. I think surely there's something like previous. You know what I mean? Like not just Ooh. a load of <laughs> like cavemen. <laughs> do you all want right. to try that again? That kind of sounded strange to all. Hello, my name's Simon. Save my impression. <laughs> nice one. Nice. Yeah, I know what you mean. It would be yeah. No, I get. I can see like the interest in going in both, both ways. Yeah. yeah, but I definitely would prefer think, the money option. Yeah, exactly. You're gonna get gain. You need to. You'll gain something. Yeah, well, yeah. You want to gain knowledge. Yeah, exactly. Or you could go so far in the future that you like find the cure to the diseases, and then you go back in time, and then you're like, "Yep, yeah, here it is." And then you get it wrong, and you cause. <laughs> <laughs> Because I am legend. It. Yeah, you're like, I have no idea how to pull it together, but I saw them do it's it. It's the ingredients. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but I think that'll be, I would definitely go in the future. Danny. I'd go would... like 100 years in the future and then stay there. Because <laughs> I wouldn't be there. <laughs> well, you would though. You... No, because I'd, I'd dead, wouldn't I? You fucking dick. How, mm, how would this work? <laughs> no, so if yeah, you went, you I would... literally just go there and go, <laughs> no, because you wouldn't have gone back to have lived the rest of right. you. I'll go and stare at my yeah, own so... grave until I die. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, hang on. We're in some sort of paradox. Yeah, here. this is a bit of a paradox now. So if you decided to never return you, back, yeah, then you would never find yourself in the future again. But if you went 
into the future and fully had the intention of going back to the present, then you would find yourself. Do you know what I mean? Because you know that you would be going back and then you would actually go back. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> so I just blew your mind. Mate, though. we're a podcast now. <laughs> <laughs> this is literally Joe Rogan shit. <laughs> And you said make a few Cheeseburger, more. Cheeseburger, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That's that kind of shit. He just does that. Then. <laughs> Someone needs to shave the red quick. <laughs> Ellis. <laughs> oh, fuck, not again. <laughs> You've shaved your head before? Yeah. Do before. not fucking yeah. remember, yeah. like, three no. years ago. Yeah. When li- everyone called me Vin Weasel because mm. I had a moustache but a bald head. Really? Fuck off. Do you not remember that? It was too much trauma. You forgot about it. Yeah. <laughs> you had a, li- like, skin head. Yeah. You yeah. Did, he probably didn't like how shiny it was. No, you didn't. <laughs> you literally shaved it. I'm sure I've got off. footage yeah. on my phone somewhere. You're such a bad friend, Osha. You don't even remember. Oh, the I'm sorry. I don't remember his bald skin head. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's quite memorable. Memorable. Yeah, memorable. <laughs> 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 anyway. All right. Um, another bonus. Qu- Wait, hang on. You didn't decide what you were going to do. Tell us going to the future. Your future, future, future. What are you doing? 1940. Okay. Um, bonus question. Would you live life differently if nobody could ever judge your actions? Yes. So you had no consequences to anything? No. You wouldn't? Mm, probably not. What about you, Chris? Yeah. I 100%, 100% would. Yeah. I hate everyone. If there was no consequences to people dying at the will of my car, <laughs> right? The amount of people Jesus. I would run over is unreal. I fucking hate everyone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's fair, but also if you don't have any restraints, then you're putting yourself at risk. Like mm-hmm. fatally, I mean. Nah. <laughs> That's a win win situation right there. Not for you kill people and take myself down at the same time <laughs> not the way I'm driving Done, did it? <laughs> yeah just to be able to literally do whatever you want yeah without any sort of like repercussions yeah I not mean, that I'm going to go around killing people like you but I, I just mean like yeah because you'd still go around killing people as much as you kill people now which is none yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> Oh, tax fraud. <laughs> yeah, you could mate, like, you could get away with anything. It would be mental. Just like steal a pizza, fuck it. Yeah, like literally. <laughs> oh, mate, the most you're thing. ruthless, mate. Yeah, no, yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> my I'm food. Like, I might steal a sweetie now and yeah. again. <laughs> There's no repercussions, mate. You know yeah, you could live, mate, Oh my god, mate, you've absolutely nailed the head there. You could go into any restaurant, order whatever you want, and just walk out, no yeah. nothing said. Yeah. I already do do that. that And you still pay. What? (laughs) (laughs) There's no repercussions. I live life exactly how I do now. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) No, but like, imagine someone just annoys you, all right? (laughs) You just snap the neck. (laughs) That's the kind of thoughts I have. Also, I was thinking this the other day. This is like another Joe Rogan thing. So, like, you know when you have those thoughts in your head, like... Intrusive um, thoughts. Yeah, and you have Mm. these thoughts. You're like, oh... If I could just do that now, mm. or if oh, I could just say that now. Sometimes I think, what if that is like another ultimate, universe yeah. of me that actually, actually did it? it. Imagine, okay. So, like for example, Ellis goes, "Oh, my dog's died," and I just go, "Ah, uh, loser," <laughs> something like that. That's like another version of me that actually did it. Obviously, I wouldn't do that, Ellis, because I love you, and if you had a dog, I'd love your dog. <laughs> but another version of me might not. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Fuck. But if that was the case, that other bird, me is fucking horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, because you're the tame version of you. Yeah. Imagine the not so tame oh version my of you. God. He's just wearing a white hood everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean, though? Yeah, that's weird. I literally thought the exact oh, same thing. Oh, fuck off. Get out of my yeah. head. Yeah. We've I spoke about mean. this before as well. Yeah. That you're just me. No, you're just me, mate. I'm older than you. Not Got you there, mate. Got you there. Not really a flex. Just like guessing. Yeah. You're going to die first, Chris. Maybe. <laughs> the same thing. <laughs> I was thinking of something much worse. Mm. But yeah, I was def- I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, what if it's like... Another well, version of yeah, you. It's like, well, that's so well, weird so, that you've had the same thought. Literally the exact same thought. Because Shut up, I do when? have a lot of like intrusive thoughts. Yeah, I do as well. And then I'm just like... Yeah, I have. I just thought, like, imagine if like there's a version of me that's actually done Said that. Said it, yeah. Yeah. That's weird though that you've thought that as well because that's not a that's not like a normal thought to have. Is it not? 
No, it's quite a philosophical, <laughs> clever thought. <to> be fair. <laughs> yeah. That's not like you at all. So, yeah, not maybe like I'll... you either, mate. Yeah. All you think about is you shit. And... <laughs> the wall bouncing back at you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, well, I feel like we should get high now just to see how deep we can get. <laughs> yeah. Just proper go full Joe Rogan. Yeah. Get some meth cliff. on the table. Oh, I saw that in the news as well. I didn't actually bring this up because I didn't think it was worth bringing up. But mm. apparently there's a city in the UK that is just getting infested with methamphetamine, which is lovely. Oh, what? that's a nice topic. Like a plague yeah. or just... Asking for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Like a plague or just people <laughs> overdosing. I don't know, but both. Yeah, it's not It's not like doing it, it's just walking in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was, it was just like, I was obviously reading through the news to get some news for the podcast, and I, I saw that, and I was like, ah, uh, well, no, not, not really. <laughs> no, that's breaching the bottle in the barrel. Yeah. Because like I've said, I wonder what it. meth is like. It's it's really lovely. Lovely. Apparently it's very good. <laughs> that's what I've heard anyway. That's what my friends have said. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Can we cool. talk about anything? Was there a question? I can't even remember now. Yeah, it was. Would you leave, live, leave? <laughs> would you live life differently oh, if there was no consequences? Yeah. No. Uh, yeah, I would. I hundred percent would. Unless you just think no, that you just carry on like normal. I think you have to have a moral code, otherwise, yeah, otherwise think... you just go into your own psyche and you collapse and you kind of just start thinking, who the fuck am I? Yeah. Already but, there. Let's go even <laughs> further, baby. <laughs> doesn't have to necessarily be like a moral code it's just like fear of like judgment and things like that i don't have fear of judgment no hmm? okay. i don't have fear of judgment anymore i used to just be fucking shy and just worry about everything now i'm just but like not as like i've gone past my exp uh, expiration date so i'm just living life the way i want to you're really old after being from the 40s and mm. all that yeah <laughs> how old would I, that make him 80 I'm gonna yeah now. yeah Anyway. 80 odd. Mate, you look good for your age. Mm. Cheers, bud. So I found. I dye everything good. my skin, my hair, my teeth. <laughs> your pen's like holding your skin back. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> this is a wig. I kind of <laughs> look like a wig, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you do that? Rip it up. Um, anyway, change game where two of the milkmen perform a scene based on suggestions from everyone else. Cheers, Stephen and Simon, for the suggestion. <laughs> at any point during the scene, the host can say change, at which point the previous line or dialogue of dialogue uh, is replaced with a new line of dialogue. So who did it last? Was it me, me and you? Me and you. Was it? Yeah, so I want to be the host this time. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to suggest Ellis, mm -hmm. you again, and Chris. Okay. So, who are they? Who are you? Where are, who are you? you? I'm too tired for this. Who are you? <laughs> oh, okay. You've just given me an idea then. Yeah. You're tired. So... Oh, sound. <laughs> yeah. So, you are tired. <laughs> wow. You're in a bed shop. Okay. You're the salesman. <laughs> yeah. But you're after something really specific. Okay. And you can't be arsed selling it to him. <laughs> I can't be arsed. Okay. Or right. the opposite way around. So you're, you've walked, you've gone no, don't out your way to go into it. a bed shop, but you can't be asked actually buying a bed. And then he's really getting. <laughs> I'm over, face about overly it. keen trying yeah, to yeah. sell. Okay. All right, go on then. Shall we start? Okay. Yeah. When you're ready. Uh, hello. Hi. How can I help you? I'm good. <laughs> Are you sure we've got a many array of beds that we have on sale today? Uh, yeah, yeah. I've noticed. Change. Cool. Change. <laughs> Don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to look at some? I might do. Get off my back, yeah. Change. Yeah, go on then. <laughs> we have some lovely Change. metal. We have some terrible metal frame ones. I recommend velvet uh, supported uh, beds. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the headboards and shit. Yeah, they yeah, got yeah. velvet okay. stuff. <laughs> Velvet's not very sportive, though. <laughs> Shut up. Let him get on with it. He's not a fucking actual bed salesman, is he? He's exactly. not going to know. Carry on. Okay. My role in this is really just to go, uh, in it, really. No. Okay. You um, just He's really in character. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I mean, oh, do you know what I mean? 
<laughs> no. Change. Okay. No, uh, no, 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 no. You change. I somewhat understand your predicament, but I still think you should look at these beds because they are fairly cheap today. I'm just change. Just... I still think you should look at these beds because they are still expensive, but I feel like you are a man with a good amount in your pocket, so have a look anyway. Okay. I'm just, uh, I'm just too tired for this. Change. I'm really awake right now. Change. <laughs> I feel somewhat neutral <laughs> <laughs> about all of this that you're discussing. Well, let me change your neutral dial to 11 and let me show you this bed right here. It is the top of the range. And guess what? It won't put you back too much. I'm not buying it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask why? Uh, I need you to try it for me just change i need to have a nap in it change i don't like beds <laughs> <laughs> oh if you don't like beds we have a good array of fucking bean bags over there you could try change well, if you don't like beds go fuck yourself <laughs> <laughs> um yeah fair enough change <laughs> maybe i will okay change. oh um, I'll have you know, I'm an innocent man here. <laughs> How dare you speak to me in that manner? Change. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Sir, can you please leave the premises if you're not going to spend any money? Then Change. Like, just go. <laughs> Change. Please stay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll have that bed over there. Good man. Pleasure doing business with you. Oof. Is that your bed, though? Of course it is. It's covered in piss. Change. <laughs> of course it is. It's covered in shit. Nice. I'll take it. Oh, please end. There you go. <laughs> did you actually buy the bed in the end? He did. That's yeah, he bed. did. The that's shit, shit bed. bed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay. And it's got velvet on it, so that's nice. Mm. Lovely. <laughs> so we now we now know Ellis can sell beds. <laughs> covered in shit. Yeah. Milkman idea for a few. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Imagine that. Milkmen become bed salesmen. That's like, that's, that's such a, a shit Beast. title. That's, no, that's a Mr. Beast title if I've ever seen one. That's going to go viral. <laughs> Milkmen have little naps in bed. <laughs> <laughs> it's just uh, to be fair. Do you know what? People actually stream themselves sleeping and they make fucking bank. So... I don't get it. Wait, I'm going to get a proper comfy, full light nightgown, cap thing, <laughs> yeah. a little like this, <laughs> just like Scrooge. <laughs> Right, closing words where we would normally say Simon's milk facts, but has he actually sent any? Not to my knowledge, no. no. So Because, and guess why, he is a... Nice human being. No, he's a cunt. What we yeah. could do is we could have 30 seconds of silence, bear with me, and then post, famously, he adds... Okay, it. yeah, everyone stare at the cameras really awkwardly. All right, which one? Any, yeah. all of them. <laughs> Here we go. Did you know that the world's rarest cheese is actually made from goat milk? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was really cool. Wow. What a good fact. That's insane. Wow. I can't believe I didn't know that until now. I'm so happy about this fact that <laughs> yeah. I've just heard. Yeah, yeah. I feel enlightened from the knowing fact, this information. The best part about a fact was how factual it was. Yeah. Mm. I like and the how, part when it was the fact, you know. And how prompt. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Mm. Right. Closing words. Has anyone else got anything left to say? Um, Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for listening to this podcast. Make sure to check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash milkmen for early access to our videos, bonus content, monthly toe pictures, merchandise discounts, signed postcards, your name in the videos, and more. And we are still giving away a hat but no one's fucking entered, so you could be in of a chance of winning it if you just fucking subscribe. So one person subscribes and then they get it, basically. Uh, and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive a Bugatti Type 57 SC Atlantic. Um, and make sure to click that bell to be notified for future content. And we'll see you next time, you paint-guzzling crayon sniffers. <laughs>